Hi children, come we will see the next topic in our third chapter. Take your textbook, take page number 207, ok. Light and shadows, light and shadows. The next time you go to the movie and the action begins on the screen, turn back and look in the direction of the projector. You find particles of dust in a beam of light coming from the projector. Observe that the beam of light is straight. Light always travels in straight line. Okay. Light always why? It always travels in straight line. See here children, see the picture here. See this is the screen, this is the home theatre system at your home. See take this is a theatre. Okay. Uh, home th usually nowadays all are having what? Uh, home theatre system at their home itself nowadays. Okay. See if you take consider it. Okay. See this is the screen, this is a projector. Okay. What? This is the screen and this is a projector. You may observe what? Uh, yeah. See here. Uh, yeah. You may observe that particles. See. A beam of dust particles in the form of light is falling on the what screen and you may see the picture now on the screen ok. See, see here the beam of what dust particles in the form of light see, is falling on the screen and gives the picture on the screen. So, see here the this is nothing but the light travels in a straight line that means here the light no see here you may observe it it is tra it travels in a straight line ok that you may observe through the picture no children it travels in a straight line see. See this is the projector and the screen see the light is falling on the screen and the picture is appearing on the screen ok understood see the line how it travels it is travelling in straight line. See children this uh, the light always travels in a straight line that we may what? Yeah, that we prove through an activity, okay. That I will send you a link, you open it and you can see observe, see that activity. So, that you can understand that the light travels in a straight line, okay, in straight line. When an object and also you can observe that when an object obstructs the path of a light, a shadow of the object is formed, okay. That means what? When an object obstructs, comes in between the path of the light a shadow of that object ok is formed ok. How? So, that is the way how the shadows are formed ok. That means what? When an object comes in the path of light the shadow what? The shadow of that object is formed. Come we will go to the next page. And translucent objects form faint shadows while opaque objects form perfect shadows ok. Translucent objects form faint shadows while opaque objects forms perfect shadows ok. Have you seen shadows of trees and buildings on the way to school children? Sunlight cannot pass through them because uh, what? It is a slight load, light no, cannot pass through the object ok. So, uh, because it is what? Uh, it's a opaque object ok. It's a, the building, the trees are opaque object, the light cannot pass through it. So, what? So, a shadow of them is formed. Okay. Since the light cannot pass through it a shadow of them and it is in the path of the sunlight the shadow is formed ok. The shadow of the uh, object is formed. If, if it the tree is in the path of the sunlight what? The shadow of the tree is formed ok. Objects cast their shadows on the opposite side of the source of the light ok. And the shadows what? Will be on the opposite side of the source light source ok. A dark shadow called umbra is formed where no light falls on a light shadow ok and a dark shadow called umbra is formed where no light falls and a light shadow called penumbra is formed where light falls partially ok. See here children this is a torch ok and this is a ball ok and the light from the torch is falling on the ball ok that means what the ball is in the path of the light. So, that the what the shadow of the ball will what fall ok we will get the shadow of the ball on the other side on the that means uh, what opposite side of the source this is a source of light that is a touch ok and this is a shadow of the ball see here 
the light falls on the ball and it goes like this. We know the light what? Moves in straight line that we know. See here the lights move like this in what travels in straight line and falls on the ball and it will go see since it is what there is the object in the path of the light it will go towards like this ok. So, here what will happen the dark what uh, shadow which is called what Num umbra ok which is, is called umbra is formed where no light falls on it okay? ok where no light falls on it. So, this dark see this dark blue part is called what umbra and the light blue part is called penumbra ok where the light falls partially here ok that's why it is in light in color ok that is called what penumbra here the color is blue and light blue but it is not actually ok it is not blue or light blue in color the dark shadow called it is called umbra here no light falls on it ok and the light water which falls partially that place is called that shadow is called penumbra understood children. The size of the shadow depends on the distance between the object and the source of the light ok and the size of the shadow depends on the distance between the source of the light and the object understood. So, that the shadow the size of the shadow depends on the distance between the source of the light and the object. We will see the next topic sunlight and shadows. Is your shadow of the same size throughout the day? Is your shadow of the same size throughout the day, children? No, it is longer in the morning and evening and very short during noon. Okay. It is longer and in the morning and evening and is very short during noon. Why it is like that? Come, we will see that. Look here, let us come, we will do this activity. Okay. Select an open place in your school. Mark a circle. At 8 am, stand in the circle, observe your shadow. Ask your friend to mark the tip of the shadow. Okay. At 12 noon and 4 pm, again stand in the circle. Okay. That means stand inside the circle that you may know and observe the shadows. Ask your friends to mark the tips of the shadows both the times in the water. Yeah, in the afternoon as well as in the evening that means in 12 o'clock at 12 o'clock as well as in 4 o'clock ok. You will observe that the shadows are longer in the morning and evening at noon your sh shadow is very short and almost beneath you ok almost beneath you. In the morning the sun is in the east and the sun rays are slanting the shadow is long and what cast towards the west. Look here children see here. See, see you will observe that the shadows are longer in morning and evening. At noon your shadow is very short and almost beneath you. Why? In the morning the sun is in the east. Look here the sun is in the east ok in the morning ok. In the morning the sun is in the east and the sun rays are slanting ok. From here the sun rays are slanting ok. The shadow is long that is why the shadow is long and cast towards what west see this is the shadow at 8 am ok 8 am you made on circle no ok at 8 am see you were if you are standing there you will get the shadow like this towards what west towards west ok towards west ok because the what the sun is in the east ok and the sun rays are slanting ok and the shadow is also long and cast towards west ok. At noon the sun what see here at noon the sun rays are directly overhead ok. Look here the sun sun is directly overhead so that the sun rays are directly overhead ok. The shadow is very short and cast beneath you at noon 12 o'clock noon what happens yeah ok the sun will be ok directly overhead the sun rays also directly over. since the sun rays are directly overhead what happens the shadow will be very short and cast beneath and in the evening yeah, the sun is in the west and the sun rays are also again slanting ok and again slanting so that the shadow will be long ok the show that the shadow will be long and it towards east it what and towards the east direction understood children understood or not. Okay. So, as the sun moves from east to west during the day the size and position of the shadows change. Okay. So, the sun 
or depends on the movement of the sun that means sun moves from east to west during the day ok from sun moves from east to west during the day the size and the position of the shadows also change understood children the size and the position of the shadows also change ok in the morning the shadow will be long and also in the evening the shadow will be long because in the morning the sun will be in the east and the rays will be slanting so it will be what long and towards the west direction ok and in the evening what it is towards evening ok the sun will be in the west and the what rays are slanting and the shadow will be long and towards east understood but in what in the noon ok in the noon what happens the sun will be above overhead and the rays also what directly overhead that is why what happens the sh shadow will be short and very short and beneath you ok it will beneath you ok understood children come to next page children see this is nothing but a sun dial ok what sun dial the sun dial was used in the olden days to know the time ok the sun dial was used in the olden days ok to know the time the position and the length of the shadows helped in determining the time ok so what according to the position and the length of the shadows ok what the time is determined here ok using the sun dial ok in sun dial according to the position of the shadows and the length of the shadows if what the time is determined ok this is about the sun dial see here children this is a picture of a sun dial ok see sun rises at 5 o'clock like that it will go ok 5 see like that depends on the what position of the shadow ok and the size of the shadow the what time is determined using this sun dial ok. Come we will see the next topic light and colors. We see things we see things when light falls on them ok we see things when light fall on them that we know no children and reflects back to our eyes ok. When we can see things when light falls on them and reflects back to our eyes we can see the things ok. How do we then see things in different colors when the same sunlight fall on them? How do we what? How do we then see things in different colors? How do we see the colors different colors? See we know that we can see things when light falls on them and reflects back to our eyes. But the light is what? White in color ok. We know what? What is the color of light? It is white in color ok. But how can we when it reflects back to our eyes the color will be white no. Why it is of different color? See this is because sunlight is not just one color. It is the white light made of seven colors and shades ok. Because why? Because the light is what? It is not of one color ok. It is made of seven colors and its shade. That is why what? We can see the objects of different colors ok. That is why we can see things in different colors ok. See the pictures here children see the sunlight is falling the light from the sun is falling on the apple and it get reflects back to our eyes ok. If we, are, if we are seeing that the light which falls on the apple gets reflected to our eyes and we can see what the what apple is red in color that means see it is tomato here ok the tomato is red in color how we get that red color see why because the light falling on the tomato is white in color and, and we are getting water we can see that tomato color is red how see here because the white light is made of seven colors ok that is the sunlight which is white in color is made of seven colors and these shades ok. Sir Isaac Newton was the first scientist who proved that white light is made of seven colors ok. See Sir Isaac Newton was the first scientist who proved that white light is made of seven colors. When the light shines on a tomato it absorbs all colors from the white light except the red color ok. When the light shines on the tomato it absorbs all the colors ok from white light except the red color it reflects red color hence we see the tomato as red ok. 
Similarly, leaves appear green because they reflect green color and coal appears black because it absorbs all the light and does not reflect any color. Okay. The coal does not reflect any color that is why it is black in color that it appears black in color. 